Today I'll be baking Kirmeskuchen, a raisin bread from Luxembourg. This founding member is by far the wealthiest country in the club. So get ready for the richest loaf in our series. Mix plain flour, lukewarm milk, a tablespoon of sugar and 20 grams of yeast in a bowl. After 15 minutes, add two eggs and some more sugar, a good amount of butter and a pinch of salt. Mix everything well together. Now we need to talk about kneading technique. There are different techniques you can use, but Luxembourg's former Prime Minister and head of the European Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker, has mastered one in particular. Grab, turn, push and let go. Let's go through that again. Grab, turn, push and let go. So grab, turn, push and let go. Let go. Let go. Like Juncker, you need to move fast and with confidence to build up a strong gluten network. A good way of checking the dough's progress is the so-called window pane test. Stretch out a bit of dough until you're left with a thin membrane. If it looks opaque, like Luxembourg's secret text structures, you have to keep kneading. What we want is transparency. So keep going until you have something like this. Add a handful of raisins. Place the dough in a greased bread tin and cover it with a towel until it doubles in size. Luxembourg may be small, but per head Luxembourgers pay more than double what your average German does into EU coffers. About two euros a day, roughly the cost of a loaf of bread in Luxembourg. Glaze the dough with egg yolk and stick it in the oven at 190 degrees Celsius. Set your timer for 25 minutes until you hear the bell. That's my wife. <laughs> Prime Minister Pizza, you have to fly. No, it was Miss Merkel. <laughs> Luxembourg's raisin bread. Delicious, rich in flavor, easy to bake. If you have a firm grip like Juncker, it's a piece of cake. Mm. If you'd like to make this bread yourself, click here for a step-by-step -step tutorial. And if you're hungry for even more bread recipes, click right here.